with gray trim, fighting out of Miami, Florida, by way of Kamaway, Cuba. He weighed in at a ready 236 and one half pounds. His record stands at 31 wins, one loss with 26 big wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight looking to avenge his only loss and to become the first ever heavyweight world champion from Cuba. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the hard hitting and fearsome heavyweight world contender introducing uh, Luis King Cole. opponent across the ring fighting out of the blue corner the longest reigning heavyweight world champion in boxing today wearing gold trunks with white trim fighting out of and representing his home of Tuscaloosa Alabama he weighed in 219 and one half pounds with a sensational record of 41 wins no losses in one draw he has 40 big wins coming by way of knockout here is the U.S. Olympic bronze medalist and the acclaimed knockout artist tonight making the 10th defense of his title. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the undefeated, reigning and defending WBC heavyweight champion of the world, introducing the bronze bomber, Deontay. And now here's our referee. I want you to keep this fight clean at all times, play Olympia. Second time around for Wilder and Ortiz. Ortiz said the important part for him was to stay composed. Deontay Wilder said, hey, I know. Round number one for the heavyweight title. Man, he has this, he's still doing that pouring thing. And, you know, this is what you can do because Ortiz is right in the position he's in right oh, there. Wow, see? that's a big left hand by Ortiz. Keep moving to your right. Okay, and there was a little left hook by Wilder. Wilder, Wilder, Wilder did throw a little sharp little left hook. But you can you get at any moment you realize this fight could change or this fight might end. Yeah. Stop. That's not a bad spot to be in. See, there it was, right there, just lining right up in front oh, of the field, right, right there at the end of this, right here. Wilder just gets grazed with that. That wasn't a plus shot. In the second round, if he throws 10 right hands, at least three or four get in. And anytime. Defensive right now, wary of the power of Ortiz. But he's keeping his left foot on the on the outside, which Something is like that. Well, he, he's comfortable at it. I mean, it may not be the rounds right. before Wilder got comfortable and was able to stand. Yeah, he's in shape now. You want to see if he's any quicker than he was in the first fight. He needs to make up the room. Ortiz with a always there, locked and loaded, and there he throws one at Wilder. Now he goes to the body. Went through two rounds. Trauma. It was a slow go in their first fight. You know, most of the punches that Wilder throws to hurt you is going to be a right hand. So let's see if this got over the jab. Like that right there. So you can go over the body. He only went to the body one time with that left hand. He said, hey, he can't do that. You can't keep your left hand extended to try to keep him. The fact that he's so athletic, he can jump back or even move his head quick. And he's hard to hit because he's so tall. He, he, 40 knockouts and 41 wins. Ortiz tries to close the gap. You're not ready for that, because that, that's the money shot right there. That strong, straight left hand. But Wilder is keeping his right hand up, and that's what he needs to do. He's got to watch out for it. Most to say it was low. Ortiz wary. Firing off a right hand. Is it the third round? Slow fight. Lots of drama, lots of tension. And here you see, as Deontay throws that jab, Ortiz counter punches with his le left hand. He needs to right, make, up, make up the room. There's Wilder he put in, up his arms real high, but, he, but Ortiz was able to. They do, and they're figuring each other out. But Deontay's starting to heat up. He's starting to land his shots, and uh, I think he's going to get yeah, explosive out of out of the way of the shots. Oh. And, and then countering. Thanks, Jake. Guys, back to you. Tell you what, Jake. He can't, can't go any back any further, so he's throwing that punch. So he can't be sloppy. 
Ortiz again, this time firing. All right, Wilder again stays composed. Right hand, that was blocked. Wilder with the whacking right hand because you can see the physical presence as he moves forward. Interesting four rounds so far from that. Step into the body, throwing, it, throwing his great left hand to the body. And this is, and this is, it ain't hurting me. It's good defense by Ortiz, blocking the right hand. By, he doesn't want to get hit with that right hand too easily. Deontay Wilder telling us and the Ortiz camp doesn't want to see that. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Herman Casado, Luis Ortiz's trainer. He's having success with that left hand. How do you keep him? To the game plan, which was very tight inside. Don't open up your shots. You know, stay very, very, and try and capitalize, right? And try and capitalize on, on some of those uh, attacks. That oh, look at that. Great body shot. Wilder uh, is, is used that. But again, yeah, Wilder with that left hand. Which he normally doesn't do. If he keeps working that, he's got a good chance of catching Ortiz coming in. Very active with the jab early. He was throwing 45 jabs by Wilder. There's a hard left hand, and he fires another left hand at Wilder. Yeah, just Wilder. buzzed Ortiz. Yeah. Yeah, Ortiz oh, is, yeah. Ortiz is bu bugged. Finishing up this round, we'll go upstairs. Kate Abdo with Sean Porter mm -hmm. and Ray Boom Boom Mancini. Hey, thank Kate. you very much. I, I agree with Boom Boom and, and Sean. I, I don't do much much in this fight so far no. at all. Well, but let me throw Go ahead. and then he was able to survive the eighth after that that was a real energy drop from Ortiz but he's not much more but it's more than what Wilder is a lot more right hand a lot more jabs and even mix it up a bit so, <laughs> for the most part good hook by Wilder a little slapping hook changed the sight line on Ortiz yeah what he's doing is he's throwing he's tapping him with his right hand so he can throw it right and so you tap, tap, and here comes the right hand. He needs to touch him on the, to, to the belly sometime. Touch him with a hook. So awkward to have a body shot to the left hand against the southpaw. Buzzing with anticipation. I mean, he's got to take more chances and hold his ground. See, when Ortiz comes in, if your top guy that's making the, the attack on you is going to be closer to you to hit. Like that. that. That's left right. hand blocked mostly. It appeared. Right hand buzzes over the top. He wasn't able to sit down and find his punches or throw it as much. That a threat. And as I mentioned, he, he keeps that blocking, loaded. Lennox, I love the way he keeps that tucked right on his shoulder. Yeah. It's, it's a real weapon that's sitting there. And Wilder wow, as he's going ahead. There we go. But, like I said, you know, you got to throw a mix of rare punches again. Fell him. short. So now a right hand lands. A right hand to the body as well. Wilder is starting. Really won by outlanding Ortiz. Fire with devastating shots. So he knows his power is always there. He's shown the ability of him with block. Oh, oh there it is. Oh, That's what he was waiting for. It's all it took. Eight. He's done One right Wilder. hand was all it took. And Deontay Wilder. And he was waiting for that perfect time, and it came. We saw him getting closer and closer that round. Right down the middle, right down the Certainly fight. did there. And that was... From cold to hot. You said that was a good idea. And you were absolutely right. Thank Man, you. was that a nice right hand. Wow. And foring, taking his time and straight down the middle. He made and a nice it, turn, and too. You, was, and gets the position he wanted. Bam, right there. That was sweet. That was hair trigger. Woo. And look, Ortiz is a big one shot. Man. Wasn't just one shot last time, it was several. It was the, the uppercut was a coup de gras. In this case, that is a one shot knockout. The Cementing his leg.